going on guys I'm gonna be talking about one of the tools I use the most now I use this torch every day at work so this is the power pro micro torch kit as you can see in the packaging it's for soldering light brazing a stubborn fastener removable plastic form and cutting tool bunch of uses for this little thing I got this from Amazon the link to this tool will be in the description as well as uh, this other one I'm gonna be showing you if you guys use the link to buy it it'll give me a little commission to help me out so I can keep buying more tools to review for you guys and stuff but as you can see the kit comes with a torch a little stand this one's cracked so it fits loosely in there I'll show you guys what I'm talking about but like this see comes with this attachment which goes in the nozzle of this then you screw in either this uh, solder, soldering tip so you can solder it came with some solder right here also a hot knife and this little tiny attachment I guess to get really precise heating Now it also came with this uh, heat shrink adapter. You put this on the nozzle, a tip, you attach the heat shrink attachment there. So if you have a bundle of um, wires, like a wire harness, and you just want to heat shrink one, you pull it out, put it over top, and it'll heat shrink just at one. So you're not using the bare torch on all those um, wires and potentially burning or damaging those wires when you only want to heat shrink one part. Now I used to use this tool every day until I made a bad decision of letting one of my coworkers use it and ever since he gave it back to me the igniter was messed up. Turn this torch on, you have to here's a lock, here's the gas, and here's the igniter button. So you have to unlock it so you can push the igniter. If the lock is on, you can't push the button. So you have to unlock it, turn your gas on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And then you just push the button and it'll light. But this one's broken so I went on Amazon again after this one was broken I got myself this one from blazer as you can see here's the company the model of this one is GB4001 same exact thing removable stand but this one is uh, not broken so fits snug on there even has a hole for to fill it up I don't like to use it like that I just like to fill the butane up like that so here I'll show you. My favorite feature about this is that it's one-handed, you know, so you can light this up with one hand. Most of the other ones have like some safety features where you have to click something, use your other hand to ignite it, but this one is one hand, so can't push the igniter until you unlock it. Turn your gas on, press the button, and it ignites. And also, to ignite, these holes have to be lined up. Turn, let me turn it off. You turn it off, you just turn your gas off. And here, there's little stickers peeling off, but it's just uh, to show you the level. But yeah, as you can see, the air adjustment screw, if it's not lined up, it's not going to turn on. I'll show you guys what happens when you mess with, when you, uh, mess with it after you turn it on. So you turn it on, and then you spin this, it comes to like a lighter like that. But yeah, I've used this every day. I've dropped it from about like four feet. And as you can see, just has some minor like nicks. And this one, I've dropped it from around the same height. And I guess it fell on the button itself. But all it did was uh, bent the little button a little bit. But that didn't cause it to mess up. I don't know how my coworker messed it up. But this one, I've been using it ever since. And, you know, going on like, what, at least six months now. And this one still served me strong. All I do is put butane in it. Yeah, also while you have it lit, if you lock this, you can't adjust the flame. So you can't add more fuel to make it longer. So if you unlock it, then you can make it longer or shorter. Eventually turn off. But yeah, if you guys are doing a wiring repair, you want to heat up some 
uh, butt connectors that are heat shrinkable or you will just have heat shrink tubing around and you want to make some repairs this is a tool you want to use also it can be used to solder wires together as well on the go since all you need is butane now the reason why I went with this instead of buying the power probe again because you can just buy this by itself with a stand I believe but this was cheaper so I'm all about saving money and getting the most value for your money so I noticed this is the exact same tool just at a lower cost and because only this was broken I only needed this because I could keep the kit so I bought just this tool by itself and as you can see same exact tool so if I wanted to I could just carry it like that alright guys here's just a clip of me weeding this design well this word that I cut out just to put over my little trash can just so you guys can see how it's done but yeah you guys can get creative with any kind of vinyl you guys want to order Alright, so if you guys want to get some vinyl, as you can see here, I did a little, little just, I just put my, my YouTube name on this laptop right here, but yeah, if you guys want some custom vinyl designs, you know, different kinds, you can go on walls, cars, uh, windows, whatever you can think of that's flat and not like this kind of like textured uh, plastic material. Just send me an email. I will leave the email down in the description of this video. Also, if you want to pick up, like I said before, this torch, I will leave the link in the description as well to get this off Amazon. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and also share the video. It helps me out a lot. Thank you guys, and have a good day.